Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you are new here. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a what is on my iPhone XR. I did make one of these videos, I think around three months ago, but that is when I had my old phone and now that I've got a new phone, I just thought, why not make one of these videos? I love to watch them, so I think I like making them, so. If you are new to my channel, you can subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's get on with the video. So to start off with some of the basic things, this is the phone. I don't know which one it is, is in like the gigabyte size. I think it's, oh, that studio light's really annoying. I think it's the smallest one, like 32. And then this case I just got from Carpen Warehouse because I needed a case and I just like ran to the nearest shop and bought one. It was quite expensive, it was like 15 pounds and it's just a clear phone case. So I don't know why it was that much money. And I also just have it in the shiny black color. I don't think they do a matte one, but I actually do like the shiny one, but I literally cannot go without a case on my phone, so I have this on it. I am also just going to move to the side because hopefully, if I edit this right, I can put the phone here. So I'm just going to move to the side and then I can show you the actual screen. Hopefully if I edit it this right, it will come up here. So um, okay wait, let me start screen recording. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh, or well, maybe not ooh if this doesn't work, but hopefully ooh. Anyway, starting off with my home screen, this is a photo that I took when I was in New York and I thought it was really cute. I did post it on my Instagram, which you can follow if you want to. So then as soon as you unlock my phone, it is a very basic layout as in like, I don't love stuff being like all super like organized and stuff. I kind of just do color coordinated because I think that's pretty, so. Yeah. So starting off with the basic apps, I've just got FaceTime, Messages, Phone, Find iPhone, which I do not use that, but should I use that? Because I don't really know if it works. Then I've got Calendar, Photos, Camera, Clock, Weather, Safari, App Store, Files, News, Health, Stowcard. Stowcard is just an app where you can put like gift cards and like credit cards and stuff like that all on an app. So it's like Apple Pay, but I basically just have loads of like gift cards and like, it's just the thing where I can put gift cards on. Basically, I don't know why that takes so much time to explain. Then I've got voice memos, wallet, Apple Watch, settings, and then I've got a folder called random, which I'm not sure if you can guess what's in it. Random apps. I've got books, home, maps, iTunes store, stocks, reminders, contacts, notes, podcasts, find friends, calculator, and then I've got the Canon print app, which if you watched my video last week, I use that when I want to print off my notes I make on my iPad for school. I like can print it off through that app. And I've got the Apple Watch Activity app, which is really depressing because I see that I've done like no exercise and it's like, you have an exercise and I'm like, I know. Then along the bottom, I have got Snapchat, Instagram, Spotify and Twitter, which if you want to follow any of those, or my Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter are all at alphabetic with three T's. If you want to follow that, you can. But my Spotify, ooh, Blackpink, Oh. Uh, I love Billie Eilish. I'm just kidding. I know it's Eilish. Anyway, so if you want to follow me on Spotify, which honestly, I don't know why people follow people on Spotify. I don't really get that. Okay, my name is at Alphabet with three T's dash two, which if you want to follow me, you can. Um, I, I don't really know if you want to, but I make monthly playlists and they've got all my favorite songs and they change every month, but there's normally like a few that are all the same. So if you want to follow me on that, you can. Oh my God, I look so bad. Also, if anyone's wondering, which you probably aren't, why I've got this on here. I was walking outside, duh, and it just thought, let's rain. It just rained everywhere. Um, it started getting super crazy and I had to like fully change out my jumper and now I'm like in this and I still got some rain on me, if you can see it. So onto the next page, which is where it's more like personal apps that aren't like the basic one that come on the iPhone. I have got Gmail. I've got 316 unread emails. That's a bit awkward. Then I've got Google Drive, Google Calendar, Google Home, Google Classroom, Google Slides, Google Sheets. A lot of Google apps, if you can't tell. Google Drive, Google Classroom, Google Slides and Google Sheets are what I use for school and then Google Home is for my little home thing where I like ask it questions and it answers. And then Google Calendar I use to like plan my time with revision, boring. Then I've got YouTube which, I mean, 
I hope you know what YouTube is. If you don't, that's awkward, but I think you do. Then I've got, is it Visco camera? Is it VSCO camera? I swear everybody calls it different stuff. Like I don't know what one it is, but I'm gonna say VSCO because it sounds more like intelligent. That is just the app that I use to edit my Instagram photos. Uh, if you want me to do a video on how I edit my Instagram photos, I will because, I mean, I don't have a theme as such. Let me just go on my Instagram. I don't really have a theme. It's just kind of like, stuff I want to post. So next to Visco Cam is Panora. I oh, know Panora, sorry. Panora. So that's like a type of bread place. That's Panera, sorry. So Panora is an app that you use for like, if you've got a panorama, you split it in half and then you can have like two divided photos. I don't know, it's just quite a cool effect. I've never used it, but I tested it on photos and it looks really cool. And then I've got the YouTube Studio app, which is what I use to look at like the views and the likes and all those things and like look at comments easy and just reply to them and see like all my it's what analytics i think that's what all the youtubers say look at my analytics that's what i do the stagecoach app is what i use <laughs> it's kind of awkward for the buses in the morning for school i'm sorry but why is that awkward like it's the, it's the bus like that's just not awkward but okay what i want to see when it comes because it rains like if you're from the uk can we all talk about how much it rains? Like it just rains a lot, like I don't really get that. I use that so that I don't have to stand outside while it's raining. So I just go out when it's about to come because I'm smart like that. Then I've got the Santander app, which is now the current bank that I use. So it's just the same thing as Nationwide. I just look at what's in there and stuff like that. Then I've got the cost app. I use like the points thing where I can like, for every pound you spend in cost, you get 5p back. So I like, rack up the points so I can like buy cost on my own without like having to pay for it. Then I've got the Netflix app which I don't actually use a lot on my phone, I actually use it on my iPad because it's quite hard to watch Netflix on like this little screen if you know what I mean. Then I've got the Story Lux, Story Lux, Story Lux app which is just what I use to, I used it for my most recent Instagram photo, I think it looks really cool. It's like an effect that you can do like I made this one, I made that one, like you can see. I made all of these in this app with like the cool bits down the side and I posted them on my Instagram and someone asked, how did you make that effect? Story Lux. If you watch my YouTube, which you probably don't, but mm -hmm. Then I've got the Domino's app because, you know, basic human right, Domino's. Then I've got the My EE app, which is basically, I can see how much data I've got left on my phone. So say if I'm like out and about and I'm like, uh, how much data do I have? Cause I don't know if I want to go on my phone. I can just see on this app and it tells me like how many I've got left, like how many gigabytes and then how much time it is until my contract runs out so it's kind of just handy to see. Then I've got the Quizlet app which is just like Quizlet, like do people not know what Quizlet is? Um, so let's say for example Lord of the Flies, Ooh. Piggy is isolated but the other boys are un unified, unified. I'm so stupid. Then I've got Socratic which oh my god. If you struggle with maths, literally download this app. It's brilliant. So all you do is you open the app and then you take a photo of like, hi. I mean, I don't have an equation here, but if I had an equation, I'd be like, hi. Take a photo of the equation and it scans it and gives you the answer. Now, I have done this for a few homeworks, but I do say when I've done it, because I don't agree with like, saying you know what you're doing when you don't know what you're doing. So like, I say like, I looked this up online and I, got the answer online even though the app did it for me but I just use it for when I'm like really struggling and just want to know the answer because it does give you like a step-by-step -step guide of like what to do but I don't read that I just look at the answer and do it and then the final app on my phone is called LumaFusion which is the most recent editing software that I downloaded um it's really confusing like guys I'm being honest I don't really know what I'm doing basically if you don't know I edit my videos on my iPad I used to do it on iMovie but now I've converted it's not like I'm like joining a cult like change across to LumaFusion because I saw videos online about how it's like a better app for like editing at like a more like advanced level it costs 20 pounds so if this doesn't like do everything and more I'm not going to be happy like this video is the first video that I'm editing on this so if my editing isn't like good, like this is how I'm doing this whole thing, even if it works, I don't know. Like I just really hope that this works because if it doesn't, I have just wasted 20 pounds. So that is just what I use to edit my videos or that's what I'm gonna use to edit my videos instead of iMovie. But if you want me to make a video on YouTube editing and thumbnails and stuff like that, 
I will because I've got quite a few tips and tricks up my sleeve on what to do when it comes to iPad or phone because I can the same editing because that's all I've ever done. I've never used a MacBook or like a computer to edit my videos because I think I'd just be too confused with that. Like this iPad, it does enough for me. Like it makes my videos look half decent. So yeah. I kind of, no. No. <laughs> what am I even saying? So I hope you all enjoyed this video of what is on my iPhone XR. I know that this video was kind of like short and simple. I don't think I need that many apps. Like, I just don't. Like, I don't need five sides of apps. Like, I'm fine with my two sides. If you guys did enjoy this video though, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe down below if you want to. Uh, we are close to 1,000 subscribers, which, although it's not like a big number, like in like, YouTube terms compared to most. If you imagine 1,000 people lined up, like that's quite a few people. So I'm proud of our little squad we've got going on. If you want to subscribe, you can always down below. It's just down there. You can always follow my social medias that are down below and they are all at Alfie Bennett with three T's except for my Spotify, which is at Alfie Bennett with three T's dash two. Although I'm not sure if you're that into wanting to follow my Spotify. You can if you want. I hope that you have a really good day and a really good week and I hope I see you all in my next video. Bye.